All right, um, full disclosure and a disclaimer or something. I'm going to jump around because I didn't see all of the Thanksgiving episode because it took me a couple minutes to realize it was a Thanksgiving episode. And the funny part about that is that I realized it was the Thanksgiving episode when I saw characters I never see normally. Like Paris is there, Zenday, and, um, you know, and then they were all talking in a joking manner. So then I was like, okay, it's lighthearted. People I've never seen, hardly see, so must be Thanksgiving. <laughs> and they did talk about football and stuff, so I was like, all right, all right. Um, okay, but here's how I'm going to jump around, though. I'm going to talk about the storylines that we don't really, um, or I'm going to dig a little deeper into some storylines that I'm questioning myself. All right. So, um, ever since the fashion show and before, you know, Eric, uh, played by John McCook, has been coughing up blood. So I said, oh, no, that can't be good because it's kind of, I'm guessing deadly, fatal, whatever, because when you start coughing up blood, it's another thing, right? Okay, so now I saw this on YouTube. Somebody else made a video questioning um, the validity of uh, Dr. Colby, you know, the hot doctor. Um, Okay, now I have to confess, I have been... um, kind of, um, (laughs) like, um, hypnotized by his good looks, but they did bring up some good points. Um, all right, so there are a ton of doctors in the Forrester family, Bridget and, um, Finn and, uh, I don't know, at least one other one that's a doctor. So my question is, okay, and I think I questioned this before. But if there's so many doctors in the family, why didn't they have a second look at what's going on with Eric? Why didn't they have any kind of questions for what what is the diagnosis? Because there hasn't been a real clear diagnosis of what he supposedly has. The closest one I got was, and I told you guys, TIAs or strokes. But that doesn't really account for the blood, coughing up blood. So I, I don't know. So then, if he does, okay, so then here's how this changes things. If he was misdiagnosed or doesn't even have a diagnosis per se, then this changes the whole idea. Then the whole fatal, everything is off the table. Because if he doesn't have anything, then we don't have anything to talk about here. All right? And furthermore, if, like I said, why didn't they question anything in the beginning? The only one who had any kind of questions, really, was Ridge, and what, to which he got no answers. So that makes me kind of question them. And also, they did bring up another storyline, but I don't remember. Um, I personally don't remember the storyline, so I don't know how valid it is. But they did bring up that when their doctor comes on the show, it doesn't always mean that somebody's got something or everything's going to go right, you know? Okay, so there's that. All right. And then, okay. Okay, this one is kind of like, I thought about it on a personal level. Because, well, I think because I'm a female first. But because also it didn't make sense. All right. Here's what I'm talking about. The coupling of Thope and then the coupling of uh, RJ and Luna. Um, Okay, here's what I'm talking about. The coupling of Thope. Everybody went nuts. Everybody said, why is she with him? Oh, my God. This is so unlike Hope. And they questioned her to death. What are you thinking? You know. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? What are you doing? All those. Okay. So now the the relationship between RJ and Luna. Okay. 
So RJ wants to tell his mother, Brooke, what's going on. He says, she says, honey, I don't have to know. What's, and the whole conversation is done with like one thing. Oh my God, let's talk double standards here. Um, that just hit on my nerves. I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. Like, at least ask him a couple questions. Not be, you don't have to go into a deep dive, but ask some questions, you know what I mean? And there was none of it. None of it. And here, and then Hope is like, what are you doing? What's this about? You know, are, are you two really sure? And to the point of like, I don't know if you should do this. Trying to second guess their own opinion. So yeah, double standard. Anybody? <laughs> um. All right. 